Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've had a couple requests on how I keep my skin clear, what I use, my skincare routine. I did a video like this over a year ago telling you the stuff that I've used. And for the most part, to be quite honest with you, I have a job where I am lucky I get to try new brands, I get to try new products. So to be honest, I'm constantly trying new things. There is, and then, and by me trying new things, obviously I find things that I really like or things that I think really work. Um, but for the most part, I'm not the type of person to go out and buy only one brand of skincare and just use one brand. I do not do that. I mix and match. I know some people are against that. Um, I'm totally not against that. I think it's great to try new things. But the only thing to remember is if using certain products with maybe retinols or glycolic acids, um, you should make sure if you're mixing things or layering things that they work together. That is the only thing I would watch out for when using different products and different brands. But other than that, I think it's great to try new things and to experiment because you're not going to know what's best for you if you don't try. So we're just going to get into the video. I'm going to tell you basically what I do on a daily basis to keep my skin clear and that would be it. So let's get into the video. So first of all, my skin is combination. Um, it's definitely a combination. I have a really oily T-zone, and to be honest, I'm very, very lucky in the fact that I don't break out that much, but if I do break out, I tend to break out more on my chin and sometimes like along the sides of my face, but for the most part, I do not break out, so I'm really thankful for that. So the number one step, you need to remove your makeup, especially if you wear a lot of makeup, but even if you do not wear makeup at all, if you're very minimal or you don't wear that much stuff, I, I, people say all the time, like, I don't wear makeup, I don't have to wash my face, and I'm like, you what? Like, you, did they, they just splash water on their face. How do you live like that? How do you just splash water on your face? I don't get it. Go, uh, if it's really cheap, well, that's great. It's great for you. You save a lot of money, but I just don't get it. When you're outside, especially if you live where I live in Toronto, the pollution, like, it's just, it's just a mess. It's basically a mess, especially in the summertime when you're sweating. Um, so if you, even if you're not wearing makeup, you need to wash off all the dirt and debris and the sweat and the pollution because that will clog your pores as well. So the first thing I like to do is, for me, because I'm extra, I always go in with a makeup wipe. So here I like to use, my favorite makeup wipes are definitely the Neutrogena ones. Um, they're really moist. They're great, and the reason why I love using a makeup wipe first is because you're not ruining your face gloss. Because my face gloss, they get ruined anyways um, from all the makeup. If I just went straight on my face with a uh, face cloth, my face cloth is legit black. So I take off most of my makeup with a makeup cloth, and then I will go in with a face wash. I'm not picky on the face washes that I use. I try all different types of face washes. I like foams, oils. Um, milks, you name it. Okay, so here's a couple of face washes that I like to use on a regular basis. So we have a cleansing oil, which is the Biotherm. This one here is a foaming water, the, the Normoderm from Vichy. And then this one is a cleansing oil from Shiseido. Um, to be honest with you, I love using something more foaming like this in the morning. I just find that it's really, really like it's gentle. It comes off. It's, there's no effort. You just add a little water, do a little thing like this and take a face cloth and it's totally clean. Um, when I have a lot of makeup on, I love using oils. Oils are great. They remove makeup very fast and efficiently. And at first I was terrified to use oil on my oily skin, especially in the T-zone. I thought it would break me out, but that is not true. Uh, this stuff is great. It goes on really thick. It's almost like the texture of a honey. That's what it reminds me of, but when you work it into the skin, it gets a really nice lather to it and your skin feels super, super clean. And you can even use it over your eyes, it doesn't burn. Same with this one. The Shiseido Cleansing Oil is more like, it's definitely more of a runny texture. Um, but this stuff removes everything. It takes off all your eye makeup, takes off all your face makeup. It is excellent. So th those are the three cleansers that I've been using right now. Okay, another product that I'm obsessed with and I absolutely swear by is this. I've been talking about this for probably two years now. This is the Neostrata Microdermabrasion. Um, it is the best scrub you'll ever use in your life. It is expensive. It is like $70 and I get it. It is totally expensive. But what I can tell you is if you're using it on a regular basis, which would be like once to twice a week, this will last you at least half a year. You need very, very, very small amounts. It smells like oranges, which is like the number one thing. It's amazing. But the texture is so gritty that it removes all the dead skin off your face and it gets all your pores, takes all the crap out of your pores and unclogs your face. Um, it's a two-step process. You use the crystals first, you massage them into your face. They are harsh, but not to the point where they're like abrasive. 
I mean like it's not gonna be a scrub where you feel like oh like I'm rubbing and nothing's happening no this scrub like when you rub it you're like oh yeah like this is definitely removing and you think the first time I used it I thought like I was scared that I'd have a rash or I'd be br broken out or whatever and no absolutely not my skin is baby soft and it's beautiful it has a nice glow to it so after you massage this first step in you just add a little bit of this activator and to be quite honest with you I don't even really know what this does but it kind of just like suds it up a bit and it just leaves your face amazing so honestly this overall is my absolute favorite favorite thing okay so then there's also peels so i do peels um this is also a new thing to me i probably started doing peels within the last like seven eight months i would not suggest doing a microdermabrasion scrub and then doing a peel that is way too harsh for your skin so like pick and choose what you're going to do so if i don't scrub my face i'll go in with a peel the two peels that I've absolutely been loving is a Neostrata, there's an anti-aging peel, and then there's this guy which is a Vichy, it's called the Adelia Peeling Night Peel Care. So the difference between the two is that this one is really, it's a lot more harsh, I would say. Not to the point where it's bad, I'm just saying it's just, just, it's, just it's, a more, it's a more harsh of a peel. It's not as gentle. And um, so if you're really sensitive, maybe I wouldn't try this at first, I would probably go in with the Vichy one. The Vichy one you put on a cotton pad and you can use this every single night if you want. You can use it every other night. It is it is that gentle that it is okay to use it daily and it doesn't dry me out and doesn't irritate the skin. Uh, it just really gets rid of all the dead skin on the surface of your skin. Yes, I suggest doing all these peels during the nighttime because your skin obviously is more sensitive. So if you're going to do it during the morning hours, you need to put on a sunscreen over top of these peels. Um, but this one here... The, this one you massage into your skin, it almost has like tiny little crystals into it. So you massage it in for like 15 to 20 seconds and then you're going to want to leave it for about 20 minutes. Um, this one you feel a little more tingling on the face, but when you wash it off, it's just your skin, it feels like a baby's ass. It's just beautiful. Beautiful product, beautiful thing. Um, so these are definitely my two favorite peels, at-home peels. There's a couple toners that I do like. So here are my three, I would say top three toners right here. Now, to be quite honest with you, toners are not something I do every single night. It's just not, I don't know, it's just not really part of my thing. And I know I probably should, but it's just another step and sometimes I'm not into it. But when I am into it, I'll tell you what I use. In the morning, I always use this. I don't even skip this step. Um, this is new and it's almost done. I've been using it for a couple months, but I really love this. This is the Wild Craft Balance Toner. It has geranium and orange blossom in it. But I love this because I go in the bathroom, I wash my face, and before I do anything with skin cream and makeup and everything in the morning, I just sit down here and I spritz this. It's beautiful. I spritz it all over my face. It's so refreshing. The smell is more like of an orangey kind of flowery smell, but it doesn't irritate my eyes. It makes my skin just feel really nice and clean. So I love using this one in the morning. Absolutely love it. And then... When I do want to tone at nighttime, I have two options. I have the Belief. It's the herbal, the bergamot herbal uh, extract toner. I love this Belief brand. I think it's amazing. Um, the quality of it is amazing. The way my skin feels after all the products I've tried have just left my skin feeling amazing. So definitely love this. This one I like to use. This is a Neostrata purifying solution with 8% glycolic acid. I like to use this toner if I'm breaking out or I feel like, again, I'm looking for that exfoliation. Um, this stuff is great. It's great to help reduce the look of pores onto your face. Uh, they do have an acne one which has a 10% glycolic acid, so if you're breaking out more, you should try the acne one. When you do wipe this on your face, you do get that like tingling. So I don't, would I, I personally would not use this every single day. I might use this once or twice a week just if I feel like I'm getting oily or breaking out. But if you use this every single night and you're not super, super oily or anything, this will probably dry you out. So I would use this sparingly. Um, but yeah, it really helps exfoliate and it's gentle and it feels great. Okay, so then there's products that is that are like more like essence waters. If you're not into the skincare game, like if, if skincare is not your thing and if you just find it to be a pain in the ass, you probably are going to want to skip something like this because it just this is just an added step to your skincare routine that's going to annoy the hell out of you. But for somebody like me, I absolutely love applying all this stuff, so I love it. But um, so this is the Aqualia Thermal Boosting Essence Water. This is not a serum. It's a like it's a basically a pre serum. So it's really watery and it's super runny. So when you pour it out, I kind of wish they almost had it like in a pump form because when you pour it out you kind of have to like catch it into your hand and then you massage it into the face and it just really deeply hydrates the face it's amazing then they came out with Vichy came out with this mineral 89 this is a fortifying and plumping daily booster it has a high percentage of hyaluronic acid 
So it really helps plump up your skin, helps hold moisture into your skin. And this one, when you apply it to your face, it goes on like a water and then it just evaporates. It's almost like you can't feel it, but it's supposed to strengthen your skin barrier. And I can tell you, I've used, this is my second um, little like bottle. When you buy it in store, it looks different than this. It comes in a really cool, like bluish kind of bottle. These were these were given to me before the launch happened, so I got to try the product. But this is my second tube of this. I absolutely love it, and I feel like it has made a difference in my skin. I used to get a lot more clogged pores on the side of my face, and I feel like uh, my skin just looks softer and smoother, and I feel like this is a big help to it. So I definitely would suggest something like this if you're looking for that extra plump and that extra hydration. I would pick up something like that, which would be like a pre serum so then you get into serums I absolutely love serums um, people come into my where I work and they tell me like they're like what's a serum and I'm like what's a serum like you need you need you need the serum the serum is like the best I love serums more than I love creams I don't know what it is about them I love the thin texture and I love how it absorbs deeper into the skin I feel like it's just magic in a bottle this is the belief it's the water essence it's a lightweight hydrating serum and it is 98% water based, but this one is really lightweight and it just really helps put moisture into your skin. It just makes your skin feel soft. And I love using it under any kind of skin cream that I'm using, but the way it makes your skin feel is excellent and I really like the smell. Then this is like the creme de la creme. This is the Fulorga Time Zero Multi Correction Wrinkle Serum. I use this every single morning. I love it. I basically just ran out of it. It is over $100. I think it's $110. But like, I just can't describe to you the way it makes my skin feel, the way it absorbs into my skin. I actually notice a difference on my forehead with my fine lines. Um, I do find that this stuff is very, very good. And I love everything about this line. I've tried a couple products from Falorga now and I'm telling you, this brand is on fire. So I have like a whole bunch of skin cream that I use. Um, so let's talk about my main skin cream. So the main two I've been using, I've been using this Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I've been using that in the morning. This stuff is amazing. It is so hydrating, but not to the point where it's like thick that's gonna break you out. But it is so hydrating. It absorbs so nicely into the skin. I love the smell. I love everything about this. It's made in Korea. Uh, one of my subscribers told me that they have a gel formula of this, which I'm definitely going to pick up next time because I feel like my skin might even like the gel formula better. This is almost in between a gel and a cream, but it is beautiful. It's about $50, which is kind of more, it is in the pricier range, but I'm telling you, if you're looking for an amazing skin cream, it doesn't contain a whole bunch of crap. Um, this is something you should definitely look into. And at nighttime, I've always been using, I use the Clarins Multi Active Cream. Um, they also make a night cream. I, uh, I ran out of the night cream. I had the day cream, so I opened up the day cream. Um, to be honest with you, the, the night and the day, there's not much of a difference. I find the night is a tiny bit more hydrating. This is for fine lines and wrinkles. It's almost like a first sign anti-aging cream, but this stuff is excellent. It doesn't break me out. It's super hydrating, and I absolutely love the Clarins Multi Active line. I've been using these creams the multi-active line probably for about two years and I absolutely love it okay we're gonna talk about the eye cream situation here so at night I like to use my Chanel Sibamage La Creme Ye eye cream this stuff is amazing it is supposed to be like the top of the line anti-aging cream for Chanel it's supposed to help lift firm wrinkles hydration everything anything you can you know talk about it's supposed to do the problem is it's like $200 and that is absurd so um, I got this as a gift and um, I absolutely love it and I'm almost finished it, but I don't think I will purchase this again because I just can't afford to buy this because it's way too damn expensive. But if you can afford it, try it out because I really think it's bomb. But this I use at nighttime because it's more rich, it's more moisturizing. In the daytime, I always use uh, a really hydrating eye cream. So right now I've been using the Clarins Multi Active Eye, which is basically all gone now. This is great for first signs of aging. It targets fine lines. And then I also love the Vichy Aqualia Thermal. It's like a water, it's like a gel kind of cream texture. This is great for just putting moisture into the skin, which I find is very important because I'm layering on concealer and powder over top. So you don't want dry under eye because your powder will really show the dry crepiness. So it's really great to hydrate. And recently my eyes have just been really irritated and I was having almost like eczema underneath this lash line. And I took this cream and I know you're not really supposed to obviously put cream close to your eye. It's not good. You should only keep it around your orbital bone and just keep it there and don't put it up higher because 
it can block your tear duct. There's a whole, any, whole bunch of problems that putting eye cream on too high up can cause, but I've been using a little bit of this because it's really lightweight, it's really water-like, and I've been putting it right under that lash line and just kind of massaging it. It didn't burn, it felt really soothing, and within three days, my lash line, again, was cleared up. Right underneath, it was gone. All the crustiness was gone. So I do feel like this really, really helped in that. But the most important part to your skincare routine is definitely a sunscreen during the day. Please wear sunscreen during the day. If you're not wearing sunscreen during the day, all your serums, all your... All the, all the nice things you're doing to your skin, all your $100 creams, they're not doing anything to your skin if you do not put a cream with SPF on top because you need something with sunscreen. Here are my top sunscreens I've been really liking. So we have the Clarins. This is the SPF 40. I absolutely love this stuff. This is my favorite out of everything I'm going to show you. This is my favorite by far. Uh, it doesn't break my skin out. It doesn't make me itchy. I find that the La Roche-Posay and Vichy have very good sunscreens and they're, you know, people absolutely love them. They're dermatologists recommended, but I don't know what it is or something in those sunscreens and they make they break my skin out and I get really itchy this brand does not break my skin out I feel amazing it protects me from burning and it is so good this is also an amazing sunscreen I like it really well too but it has color this is the Shiseido sports BB SPF 50 wet BB cream this basically is like a foundation um, it's like a full-blown foundation almost like here's the color it's more of like a medium kind of skin tone color this one comes in I think three shades I have shade dark. Um, this is great when I'm tan, but the coverage you get from this product is amazing and it is highly, highly waterproof. So if you know you're going out for the day and you're going swimming or you're partying, or whatever the hell you're doing and you're sweating, this is gonna keep your skin looking radiant. It's gonna keep you protected and the coverage and the waterproof thing about this whole situation is unbelievable. Okay, then I have a couple treatment items. So anyways, this one lady came into my work and she was like, you have tech neck. And I was like, it's it, like, Excuse me? What like what kind of neck do I have? I have a tech neck apparently. So a tech neck is from looking down at our phones. So the younger generations have this tech neck of like the line that you get when you're looking down. Great, right? Great. Awesome. Bomb. So I've been using the Stravectin Tightening Neck Cream. This is one of the best neck creams on the market. It makes a huge difference in the way my neck looks and the lines. I'm not joking you, this is amazing. I have customers that buy this constantly. It is $100 a jar. This is a smaller jar, but you, the bigger jar is a 50 mil, but it's 100 bucks, but I'm telling you, it works. So if you're looking for, obviously it's not gonna take away every line in your neck. If you have deep lines, it ain't gonna remove, I'm not gonna lie to you and sit here and say, yeah, your neck's gonna be smooth. That's a lie. But if you're starting to develop fine lines, if you're noticing more of like a neck issue, you need to start buying some kind of neck cream or start using your moisturizer and your serums down your neck. Do not forget about your neck. Your neck is very, very, very important and it ages faster than your face. You can always tell uh, what my dad says. You can always tell a woman's age by their neck because even if they get facelift and Botox and all that shit, yeah, you might have a smooth face and your eyebrows might be like this permanently, but if your neck is drooping and it's wrinkly, we know your age. We can figure it out. Then I have a spot treatment, which I absolutely swear by. I buy this constantly. Um, it lasts me a while, so I probably buy it like once every eight months or once a year, but this is the Clinique Acne Solution Clinical Clearing Gel. All I do is I take it a little bit, it's salicylic acid, so if I have a zit, I just put it on and I go to bed at night and when I wake up, I'm telling you, my zit is basically gone, it's basically evaporated and it doesn't dry out the zit to the point where it's like dry and crusty, it doesn't do that. So, but it's basically magic in a tube, so if you're breaking it a little bit and you really wanna get rid of those zits fast, quick time, quick time, you can buy this, cause this really works. And last but not least, do not forget your lips because your lips people are very important. You need to hydrate them, you need to plump them. Now, I always use lip balms. I love, there's a lot of lip balms that I absolutely love. I love the Lancome one, but it's like 50 bucks and that is damn expensive. So basically I was working on a shoot and I was working with a model. She had the nicest lips I've ever seen, but let's not, like, let's get it straight. She did have some like plumping going on there, a little bit of lip stuff, it, but it looked amazing. It looked natural, it looked beautiful, but her lips in general just look supple, soft, and amazing. Okay. Like I was looking at her lips and like, what the hell is like, like what the hell so basically she told me that she uses this on her lips this is nipple cream it is breast cream it is for the breast so what she told me she uses this lanisol hpa lanolin cream i was like hold up that cannot be good for your lips because you're eating that and that goes on your nipples but then i was thinking about it babies you know feed off their mom's nipples and babies can eat it so why can't i so I went to the pharmacist the next day and I asked the pharmacist, can I use this on my lips? And they were kind of like looked at me strange and they were like, 
actually, you definitely can use it on your lips. Like I cannot see why you can't use it on your lips. The ingredient is 100% pure lanolin. That is it. They don't add anything else to this cream. I looked it up on the internet. Some people, they say, do have reactions to lanolin. Some people don't. It's made basically from like sheep wool or something, which I kind of feel bad about. That's pretty like weird. I just hope they don't kill the sheep. You know, I should look into that more. But the way this makes your lips feel and the way it makes them look is like unbelievable It's eight dollars for this massive tube. You need a tiny amount like at night I put it on all over my lip my lips look like first of all They're plump as hell to the point where like the first couple nights I used it I looked like I almost had an injections like injections on my lips That's how beautiful my lips looked on top of that if you apply this like once during the day it will last you for like six hours. It's not like a lip gloss where you apply it and about two hours later it's gone. This stuff lasts, it makes this like shiny, beautiful lip. So this is bomb.com. The model was right. Cause this shit's great. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps some of you. And if you're wondering what kind of skincare I was using, I hope this video did help. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.